Hello and welcome to Neo Press Magazine. Things that can go wrong during childbirth and labor. Be prepared. The long and tiring nine months of pregnancy culminate into labor that every woman dreams about but still dreads. Having pains that test all your limits is a life-changing phenomenon. The woman forgets every pain and agony once she hears the first cry of her child. Her world is changed permanently after that. But it isn't just the pain of labor that is dreadful during labor. There are many things that sometimes go wrong and leave an emotional scar on the woman's mind. 1. Water breaking early If a pregnant woman's water breaks before reaching the 34 weeks mark, she needs to be monitored in the hospital because there is a huge risk of infection when the water breaks early and the labor doesn't start on its own. 2. Labor not progressing There are times when the woman has continuous labor pains, but the labor does not progress. That is, either contractions weaken or the cervix does not dilate. Sometimes the descent of the baby in the birth canal does not proceed smoothly. If any of these situations arise, the medical team may administer the woman some drugs to speed up the labor or may have to perform a C-section. 3. Complications related to umbilical cord An umbilical cord is what supplies everything to the baby inside the womb. But complications may arise if the cord gets caught on the infant's shoulder or arm or leg. Sometimes it gets wrapped around the baby's neck and this can be extremely risky. Medical intervention is needed if the umbilical cord comes out before the infant or gets wrapped around its neck or gets compressed. If the situation is not handled properly, there is a threat to the infant's life. 4. Abnormal heart rate of the baby inside During labor, the infant's heartbeat can change and show abnormality. In this case, the doctor asks the woman in labor to change her position and ensure better blood supply to the baby. But sometimes, when the reports are showing something else is wrong, then the healthcare provider will either do an episiotomy to widen the vaginal opening or an emergency C-section. 5. Shoulder Dystocia in this case, the head of the infant easily comes out of the vagina, but the shoulder gets stuck. The doctor or healthcare provider will then have to deal with the situation properly and ensure a delivery safe for both the mother and the baby. 6. Perinatal Asphyxia This is a critical situation because it means that the baby is not getting enough oxygen in the uterus or during labor or delivery or just after birth. Prolonged lack of oxygen to the infant may cause brain damage and sometimes even death of the baby. 7. Excessive Bleeding Excessive bleeding is one of the leading causes of maternal death around the world. If the delivery results in tears to the uterus or if the uterus does not contract to deliver the placenta, it can lead to very heavy bleeding. If not handled properly, this scary situation can result in loss of life. In addition to these, special care is needed for women whose earlier delivery was to C-section, who are in their late 30s or 40s and the ones whose pregnancy has already crossed the 42-week mark. So, take care everyone.